Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another Fallout 4 video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the secondary quests you can complete while in the new Vault Tech Workshop DLC. Now this quest is based on locating the additional workshops that are in Vault 81. So you have the first and main workshop, which is in the room I'm working in right now. And you know, there's plenty of room to build, but there's additional areas in this underground vault that you can unlock and then you can expand and build in even larger areas. So to start off, what you want to do is head down the path I'm heading first. This is going to bring you to the first of three different workshops that are available for you to unlock. Now each one's a little bit different. There's a couple of things you need to do for each one, but they all have the common theme of finding new areas, taking out enemies, uh, locating the first of or locating the um, workshop station and then from there you actually have to go and find a control board for that workshop station. So here we're walking into this area and this is the east wing, I believe it's called the east wing workshop. Now this is guarded by a whole bunch of Mirelurks. So what you're going to see me doing here, clearing these Mirelurks out and then there's a couple of waves. Once we get towards the end, you'll see there's a little bit of a surprise. So I'll let this gameplay play out of me and Paladin Dance taking these Mirelurks down. And we'll see what's in store for us once we get these first couple of waves done. Alright, so it's always fun finding a Myrler Queen in an enclosed area where you don't have anywhere to run or hide, but luckily we were able to take that Queen out, and as you saw during that gameplay, I did try to access the workstation that was uh, down there. And as you saw, a message came up that I needed to then confine the control board. So I'm looking at my map right here, seeing where I am, seeing where the control board for this area is located, and just trying to figure out the route I need to go. So what I do is head to this area. Um, it's being guarded by a couple of ghouls. So take these ghouls out. Then I pick the board up that is on the shelf. And then I'll bring that back down to the um, workshop or the workbench. And once I include that or put that control board into the workbench, I now have access to this area. And I could do any kind of building or anything I want in this east sector. All right, so now we got to find the two other workbenches. Where I'm starting right now is if I just entered the main room from the vault and made an immediate left. This is a large opening, and you just continue down, 
And this part is where it gets a little confusing because there are a lot of tunnels, a lot of caves, a lot of different turns you can take. So do your best, I guess, to pay attention to the route I'm taking so it makes it as easy as possible for you to understand where the next set of workbenches are. So as I came down that, uh, I took out a couple of mole rats following this path down these skinny little tunnels deeper and deeper into the vault, into this cave system. And eventually I'm going to get into this room with a whole bunch of ghouls. Um, I'm going to skip over fighting with all of these ghouls, but as you'll see, what I'm doing is basically just going around this big train car that's there, and right on the other side, there is another tunnel to continue moving through. And as we continue up through this tunnel, we're going to make ourselves into, or we're going to get ourselves into the first of two main rooms, and this is where the first of the two workbenches is located. Now this one I believe is called the Northeast Section Workbench. Or no, this one is the North Section Workbench. And then the second one we find will be the Northeast Section Workbench. So we try to activate this workbench. We see that of course we need the circuit board. The circuit board then gets added to our waypoint. We gotta figure out where to go. But um, before we do that, we're actually going to head over to the next workbench, which is the Northeast workbench. Now this is just in one room over um, from where we just were. As you can see, I'm just continuing down this path. No real caves, it's just a kind of a smaller hallway through these two big rooms. Then you head down that little ramp and straight ahead you'll see the Northeast section um, workbench. Now, we have two circuit boards to find. The first one we're actually going to head towards is the northeast section um, circuit board. And again, I'm going to cut the commentary here and you can just follow the path that I'm taking. You see I'm actually going to get turned around and head right back to the northeast section uh, workbench, which I just was at. But just stick with the video and then you'll see exactly where you need to go to find the two circuit boards to access these two workbenches. There we go. Alright guys, so after we take out all of those ghouls that are chasing us, we have our final circuit board. We continue through these tunnels and make it back, make it back into this large room. And this is the north section area. And right up on the right, we have the north section workstation. So pop that control board in there. You then gain access to the workshop in this area. And you also complete the quest, Explore Vault 88. 
So that's going to do it for this video. That's how you unlock all of the buildable sections in Vault 88. I hope you enjoyed this. Hit that like button if you did, and if, make sure to subscribe to the channel to keep up to date with all my Fallout 4 content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.